Gorilla Tag. It's a VR game. Most people watching this video are probably like, what the skin? We already know what Gorilla Tag is. Why are you talking about this? Think about it. There's like, what, like 40 people on the planet, right? Like three of them know what Gorilla Tag is. We gotta let those other people know what Gorilla Tag is. So what is it? Gorilla Tag is a VR game on like that VR thingy. And it's a game where you're a monkey. As you can see, you have no legs because they got chopped off at birth. You have no legs and you move around with your arms. This makes the game super fun and way different from other VR games. Also fun because you get to play with other people. Let me show you. And one final thing before we hop into the video, please consider joining the Discord, link in the description down below. So normally you would spawn up there in that tutorial area. So here's the computer. You can go to codes or public lobbies here. And public lobbies, you can only stay in certain maps, but in private rooms, you can go in all maps. If you push this button, you can go down and change your name. You can also change color and many other different settings to make the game how you want it to be. Over here- over here are cosmetics. Yes, I know this one looks like an abomination, but let's not talk about that. There's lots of different cosmetics, but you have to buy them. But how do you huh? buy them? You gotta come over to this map, which is called the city map. Now in city, there's all these temporary cosmetics right here. And if I just walk up to this one, you can see it's 2,000 shiny rocks. Now what are shiny rocks? You get 100 shiny rocks every single day. And if you're made of money, you can buy them right here too. And there's also these bundles that come every once in a while that cost way too much. Bro, what the heck is this thing? Most bundles are actually really good and I do like them. Like this shirt is really cool, but like... Bro, what is this? And it also gives you shiny rocks too. Here's the daily tea. This one switches every single day to a new t-shirt. There's a lot of cool ones. And here are cosmetics that stay here forever. Over here is the mirror, and you can try on cosmetics here without actually buying them. So because I selected this, I can try on without actually buying it, which is very cool. Also, most maps have a little station where you can change your cosmetics at any moment. So that's over pretty basic stuff. And there's a lot more I could show. But I want you to get the game and explore the game yourself if you don't have it already. Like other maps like canyons, caves, and a lot more things to explore. But let's talk about game modes now. Because this is probably the biggest part of the game. Where you can choose how you're going to play. Casual is just you guys talk around. There's no really game going on. Infection is the name of the game. Gorilla Tag. Hunt is a different type of game mode where you get a watch and it shows you a certain player. And you have to tag that specific player. But what's scary about it is somebody has you, and you don't know who has you. So this game is actually really fun. I think it's actually kind of underrated. It's, it's really cool. Paint Brawl, on the other hand, I dislike this one. It's okay, but like, I feel like it's just really hard to play. In this one, you get a slingshot, and you have to pop others' balloons. There's two teams that you get split into each round. It's randomized. It is pretty fun, but it's just, it's hard to play. Maybe I just suck at it. Maybe that's why I dislike it a little bit more. Oh, and there's also cues. Normally, you start on default, where it's just like... Normal gorilla tag. There's mini games queue, and if you go there, you will lose all your friends. And there's competitive queue. This is where you actually play the game like competitively and play with people who actually are like really good at the game. But not really. Bruh. Because there's like a bunch of two year olds in competitive queue, and so competitive really isn't competitive anymore. It just, it, it actually like, it, it sucks. And pushing option one when you're on your room page makes you leave the lobby. And then you can walk out here into a pub. Oh, gosh, bro, that is ear rape. Holy frick. Where's Blue? He's in city. I know what he did. He did that stupid friendship bracelet thing, and now he's in city map. Here, here. So as you can see, that's kind of a... <laughs> As you can see, that's kind of a normal lobby. Just modders playing ear rape music and you have to mute and report them. Uh, a bunch of two-year-olds are just absolutely everywhere. And people glitching so no one can actually play tag. Gorilla Tag is really fun, but you do have to find, like, good lobbies. Guys, who wants to meet a female panel? Uh, I don't have it myself, but I know somebody with it. He's trying to make He's doing this code. Did a guy with a shortcut tell you to join this? Uh, what's his name, Timmy? Bruh. They didn't give me it. I signed up for it, and they said, like, that, like, I got it. How many subscribers? Sub 78. <laughs> and that is what's called the finger painter badge, where everybody pretends they have it, and no one actually has it. Okay, people do have it, but it's really big YouTubers. Um, I don't have it because apparently I suck. It's a super rare badge and people absolutely go ham when they see it. But I mean, it is a pretty cool cosmetic. There's a lot of like rare cosmetics, like the stick, and that's for like moderators. There also are a lot of Gorilla Tag fan games. 
Big Scary is one of my favorites. They basically take the gorilla tag movement where you just move with your arms and make other games out of it. And they're really, really fun. Anyways, thank you, Monkers, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you, Monkers, later.